Hey friends, today I want to talk to you about some of my favorite creatures, mythological or real, the dragon. There are flying dragons, their bodies are dull colored and their wings are very colorful. They fly sort of like the flying squirrel, which is that they glide as they leap from tree to tree. But the difference between these guys and the flying squirrel is that their membrane or wings are not attached to their front limbs or their back limbs, but they are an extension of their ribs and they can control this. They can extend their wings when they want to leap and glide or when they see a pretty lady lizard that they want to show off their beautifully colored wings too. You know what I mean? And there's also the bearded dragon. I'm sure many of you know about this one. A lot of people have the bearded dragon as a pet. They make great lizard pets. But you might not have known that their beard or the scales around their throat that they can kind of puff out when they want to can turn black when they are feeling aggressive towards other males or when they are feeling the love towards a lady. Again, dragons like to be changing colors and showing off body parts, <laughs> wings, beards, whatever to the ladies. So that's something. And then there's the central bearded dragon. The central bearded dragon is a little bit special in that they can change the shade of their beard from dark to light as the day goes on or in coordination with their circadian rhythm. And the circadian rhythm, we all have one. It's what tells us that we're sleepy at night and awake during the day or more energetic towards the morning or hungry or whatever. That's our circadian rhythm. So for this dragon, their circadian rhythm during the day, they are cold-blooded creatures as all reptiles are. And so they depend on the warmth from their environment, especially from the sun. And so changing the shade of their beard from dark to light throughout the day can help them regulate their body temperature. Pretty cool. I love science. Okay, so also, of course, the Komodo dragon, the world's biggest lizard. Very impressive, massive lizard that is named for the island that they are found on. And these guys have venomous spit, which I'm sure that you might have known about. Hello, Pooh Bear. <laughs> You can see like a little bit of black back there, but you're not exactly sure that it's a cat. Uh, the Komodo dragon does not breathe fire, unfortunately, but they can take down pigs, deer, and water buffalo. Like, cattle. Cows. They can take down cows. These giant lizards can take down cows. They're crazy massive. They're, they're awesome. They're impressive. So they are also the inspiration for... King Kong. That story came from the Komodo dragon. Pretty cool. There are also wood lizards, and these are found in South America, and their nickname is the dwarf dragon, which is kind of ironic because they're not small. They're pretty big lizards. Not as big as the Komodo dragon, but they are big. They are nicknamed the dwarf dragon because um, of the scaly spines that go down their back. They're bright colors. Dragons are known for colorfulness. And they're crazy eyes. There are also frilled lizards. And you may have seen pictures of these guys or videos of these guys. And they look very similar to the Jurassic Park dragon that sprays black goo at Dennis, the bad guy in Jurassic Park. So their frills come out like a collar from their head all the way around. And this is to scare off predators and get the heck out of there and run away and run up a tree because they're actually smaller lizards. They're not that big or intimidating otherwise. Okay, there are monitors. There are 79 recognized species of monitors. And these are the dragon dragons. Okay, their name in Latin, I can't remember what it is, but it means dragon. And they're also called monitors because they will stand up on their hind feet to monitor their surroundings for predators or prey or whatever is going on around them. 
monitor their environment. A lot of dragons can stand up on their back legs. The frilled lizard stands up and runs on his back legs. It's pretty funny. You should look that up. And since there are so many monitors, I'm only going to name a few, but you should look up pictures of these guys. They're pretty cool looking. Pygmy monitor, emerald tree monitor, water monitor, desert monitor, spotted tree monitor, parenti, that's P-E-R-E-N-T-I-E, -E, Asian water monitor, ornate monitor, the Nile monitor, and the crocodile monitor. These 79 species do include the Komodo dragon. It is a big monitor lizard. So check it out. I think it's pretty cool. I'm going to share some pictures at the end of this video. I've got some links at the bottom if you want to look up some more about dragons. Hope you enjoyed. Please like, share, subscribe, and all that other stuff, and I will see you again soon.